In today's episode, we're going to be taming wardens and having warden pets in survival Minecraft. And we're also going to be creating every single set of armor trim in Minecraft, spending hundreds of diamonds and finally bringing to a close our armor trim gathering adventure that has taken dozens of hours. Oh yeah, we're also going to be selling warden pets because that's a thing that you can do in Minecraft. So we need to build a shop for that, obviously. Literally no one can complain about what I'm about to build in this district because like this already exists. <laughs> So I don't know where I want to build high slates. I don't know where I want to build our warden shop at, but it's going to go somewhere in this area. Kind of don't want to be anywhere within eyesight of this monstrosity, but I don't know if that's possible. You know what? I could live in one of these and no one would ever know. I might just do that. I might put a warden in one of these. Okay, so the ancient city, I believe, is actually just right here. Is this really it? Yeah, this is actually the ancient city. Okay, uh, that's incredibly convenient. That is within eyesight of the monstrosity up there. Okay, I I do want to build it down here in Chunk Town because I feel like that would be the best. Oh my, no, don't tell me it goes, it goes down. No, I didn't even notice that. It goes all the way down to bedrock. I didn't have to notice that. I was fine not noticing that. So this is going to be the location of our warden shop. Let's just get to it. So after many hours of building and so much thought and effort put into it, we finally have ourselves a warden shop. Isn't it beautiful? It's so cute and adorable. It's a pink warden. I also designed a blue warden, but you know, this is the cherry town, so it's gotta be pink. It, don't point out that it has like really bad lipstick on it, We're just not gonna talk about it So that's all good and great and all but what I just so happened to do is get the luckiest chest in Minecraft You guys aren't gonna believe this I found the silence trim on literally the first chest I don't know whose this is but we're stealing it real quick and then we're gonna go over here to the end of chest We're gonna pop out this box plop that out. We're not gonna be using this silence trim This took me 20 ancient cities to get uh, but this one that just so happens to be floating around Yeah, we're gonna go ahead make a copy of that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that back in there. No one will ever be the wiser. Thank you, oh mystery box with weird cursed blocks next to it. Also, man, I really gotta get a, you know, specificity skulk sensor. Otherwise, these stairs just open and close like every two seconds when you walk around the area. Not particularly great. It's actually very annoying. Sorry, Foxy. I think you had to hear that like a hundred times while you were building your jar of dirt. Bruh, what? They... They stole my whole black market idea. Hold up, what is this? Instructions in the other book. See the bookshelf. Why would I want to open a bookshelf? Uh, free armor trim duplications. No duplication on truly bedrock. That's not allowed. I don't know what to say. I guess I'll just have to put a warden in here. That's that's the simple answer to that problem. So to recap, we got ourselves the pink warden out here, which is just the facade of the shop. Of course, you know, it's got very important messages for you. And then you go down and this is going to be the front of the store, aka like, you know, where we sell the, the non-illicit, non-illegal items. But then if we drop down over to here, uh, but if you drop down this very long hole, 80 blocks down, this brings you to the actually nice store where we're gonna have every single set of armor trim built on some lovely, fabulous enchanted diamond armor. Need to get that stuff in here soon. And then we're gonna sell actually illegal items down here, like maybe some nether portal blocks. Back here is gonna be the warden dude. Now, if we step over here, you can start to hear the bell. It's very noisy. So this is gonna be like the little warden kiosk. You can ring the bell to get the bell to get the warden's attention if you feel like it. In case you needed more bell noises. Uh, but now we need to actually get the warden in here and we're gonna bring it through this nether portal So this nether portal happens to be like literally right next to the main nether portal to cherry chunk town And that's not all we have a little tiny tunnel right here Which I'm glad is so short this nether portal is like five blocks behind the other portal I'm sure that it links up fine. This goes direct to our skulk shrieker where we're actually gonna be summoning the wardens Actually, I lied. Apparently, it just goes to this. I, I should have tested that, but I did link it properly. Like, I, I did the coordinates and the dividing and the things and the stuff. Uh, we, we're just gonna... Did it work? I can't tell. Yay, there it goes. Okay, so this is gonna be the warden summoning zone. It looks like a boxing ring. I assure you, I am... Not about to fight that thing, because I would die. I think we are legitimately, actually, properly, fully, completely, 100%, totally and thoroughly ready for this job. Definitely no nervousness happening around here. Uh, so if I stand on this, they probably won't be able to spawn. 
Because I don't think they can spawn on any of these slabs, and unless they can spawn on top of that or something. Spawn me a warden! I don't think my warden farm works, guys. How many times do you need to go? I think it's like three. Just do it! I have no idea where it spawned. I have literally no idea where it spawned. That is not a good sign. <laughs> it, uh, my warden would never spawn above me. What it, oh, it's, geez, man. I don't see it or hear it. Did it actually spawn? I don't think there's a warden here. I think that was a total psych out. I don't think there's a warden. But there was totally like the noise and the animation and the darkness and like the, the whole thing. Did, maybe it spawned and went through the portal? That seems unlikely. I didn't see like the, the particle bits on the ground. Hmm. Okay, there is a trick to know though. Uh, if you have a warden aggroed at you, all you gotta do is log out of the game. Just just completely leave. It'll forget about you. Once you log back in, it won't be aggroed at you. Right, so now's the time where we gotta go check in the nether. Yay! <laughs> Could totally be a warden on the other side of this. Oh, there's a warden! <laughs> oh, run! It's very angry at me! <laughs> Running far away. Oh, I didn't name tag it. Hold up, I should probably go back and name tag it. Why do I want to sell wardens again? Oh my god, why is it so mean to me? I didn't do anything to you. You should really go the you should really go the other way. Like please go go the other way. He can't smell you. Oh he can smell me! Bro, there's a noise machine back there and everything. Just go through the nether portal. Okay. Uh we gotta do a combat log. Yeah, get rid of get rid of those aggroness. Join the server. Join the server. Do the thing. Or don't. Because then I don't need to fight a warden. Bro, what's your problem? My Even Minecraft isn't on my side. It's like, nah, you don't got this. Stop on your head. Please, stop. Get some help. What are you doing? You're literally standing in the nether portal. What is your problem? Uh, but yeah, this is a good proof of concept, actually. So, we uh, are standing right here. He's standing over there. He's got a noise machine on him. We're totally fine. As long as we don't make too much noise, he won't actually shoot at us. I, I did not realize that there was apparently a nether portal cooldown. Is that news to everybody else? You're touching the portal. I can literally see your foot. Your toenail is in the portal. Uh, I guess now is a good time as any to like name it. Although I feel like he's kind of angry at me. I feel like he's a little bit angry at me. Anyway, he's this one that Wasper manager. There we go. You're literally standing in the nether portal. What is your problem? Okay, we're gonna break this, and then we're gonna leave, and then we're, we're just gonna seal this up, and then we'll never speak of this again. I don't know why it doesn't just work, guys. <laughs> I was fully prepared! I had everything ready! Everything was going great! I think we're just gonna wait, like, a minute, hope for that portal cooldown thingy McBob to, like, go away, and then we'll relight the portal again, and we'll call it good. I think that's- I think that's our solution to this problem. Gonna be very, very sneaky. I don't know how you haven't died. Bloop. Bloop. There we go! That's how uh, that's how we do it, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. And now you know what the problem is? Now we have a dude in the overworld. And he's uh, totally not gonna be angry at me at all. Cool. Let's combat log. Okay, well now he should have forgotten that I exist. We're gonna double hold the totems. We're gonna go through here and we're just gonna run. Please don't kill me, 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 please don't kill me. There we go. Okay, we got the dude. I just need to break a couple of blocks and he'll be totally fine. I kind of forget. Oh, that's not fair at all. I just logged back in. We're totally fine. Nothing could ever go wrong. So he's gonna be very mad at us, but as long as we have distance between us, we're actually good. But as soon as I walk in there, that's when we start having problems. So I need to break that little skulk block, and then I need to break one of those other two blocks. Because then he'll hear the bell, and he'll just like run in there. No, no smelly, no smelly smelly. I just took a shower, you can't smell me at all. Leroy! Oh, I gotta break this block, it's really slow. Leroy! Get out of the portal! Get out of the portal. Get out of the portal. There we go! There we go! We got a warden on our shop! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, so as you can see, we're actually fine right here because we got that distance between us. He's gonna be doing all the sniffing and the hearing and the ear wiggling. And as long as we don't go across this line right here, he should never shoot at us. And he shouldn't despawn or anything. Uh, but um, now, of course, we have a problem with that little thing back there that we need to fill in and a couple extra blocks. So I need to do that real quick, but I'm not gonna do that right now, bye. Right, so this is the super sketchy part. Oh, he's looking at me, I don't like that. I'm like an Enderman, just don't look at me. 
Don't look, don't look at me. Wait, he doesn't even have eyes. Okay, he's not looking at me. Cool. That solves that problem. So great, now you can ring for service. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. Uh, so we are going to be selling wardens. I don't know what the price for a warden should be. That was really fun. But let me know what you think we should charge for a warden. Because I think it should be kind of expensive for warden delivery services. Insurance is another thing that we need to sell for these guys. Uh, it just is great. See, it's actually pretty safe. Now, if you go like right here, he's guaranteed going to get pretty angry at you. And if you punch the warden, I there's no warranty. No... <laughs> We are not responsible for death or dismemberment if you happen to punch my warden. <laughs> well, it's the next day now and the warden is still here, so that's a really good sign. Also, when it gives you darkness, it just makes this area so much more eerie. I love the look of it. But now we need to go ahead and actually make 16 different sets of armor with each one of the unique armor trims. And that's going to require uh, a lot of diamonds. So we got to go do some mining. You know, we could speed up this entire diamond gathering process if we just like pinched a couple blocks just a couple Let's see that's probably enough for a couple stacks of diamonds we could really speed up our process right now now beardy logs on the server and they're not there don't blame me because i'm clearly not doing it yep definitely not me Thanks to the Minecraft gods actually being nice to us for once, we're doing really, really well on diamonds. So look at that. We have eight, nine. We have over nine stacks of diamonds. That's amazing. We legit just got a full stack of uh, diamond blocks. No, did we not? No, don't tell me I miscounted. No, we're for sure. Hold up. No, we have we have more diamonds in here. Uh, we will get a stack of diamond blocks. There we go. Exactly 64. There we go, we rolling in it now! <laughs> it only took like 5 hours, plus 20 ancient cities, plus like 6,000 blocks mined. And we still didn't even get it, I had to put in another 36. <laughs> so we're trying out a new method. We just made this tunnel that is like literally 1500 blocks long, and it's one block tall. And we haven't really found that many diamonds from it, there's like a couple. But now, on our way back, we're gonna go ahead and make it a second block tall. So, because there's only one layer of deep slate to mine, if it's at the edge of our reach, we can instant mine it like this, and then we can just walk all the way back. So this is significantly faster, and then you gotta walk all the way back there anyway, so you may as well. So, we'll see how many diamonds we got on the way here, and then how many diamonds we get on the way back. Okay, it is definitely, definitely worth mining, dive mining one direction, and then mining back the other direction because we got 35 on the way there and then we just got 58 on the way back craziness so that is a very very good method of mining it's super quick super easy we didn't hit any lava we're gonna do another test of this over a thousand blocks and see just how long it takes so we're gonna go out to 7500 doing dive mining yeah it took us eight minutes to go 700 blocks and we got five diamonds from it uh but here we are let's make ourselves a way back and see how many diamonds we get from that this is definitely cheating because we started right here on 6,500 and then there's diamonds like literally right here. But we didn't find them until we went all the way to 7,200 and then came all the way back. So, that's great. <laughs> is it going to be a legendary 8? Oh my god. It's actually a legendary 8 too. <laughs> These are so rare. We found so little of them. But I found 4 in this mining session. That's crazy. Okay, so we dive mined at Y layer negative 59 for 700 blocks. We found five diamonds. Five. And then we mined this layer right here, which is Y layer negative 58. Yeah, Y layer negative 58. And then we found 33. So maybe what we do is we just dive mine one layer higher and then we'll get the best of both worlds because there's obviously not that many diamonds at Y layer 59 over this 700 block course. And then at, you know, 58, there's significantly more. There's like legitimately six times, seven times more. So if we combine all of our diamonds together, this is my entire fortune on the whole server. But that is a stack and a half of diamond blocks. We're going to send, we're going to spend seven stacks of diamonds 
right now, just on crafting recipes. I think I might have over-collected diamonds, because that leaves us with 57 diamond blocks left over. You know what? That is not a problem. I think we definitely over-gathered some diamonds, because we don't need to craft dune. We don't need to craft any coast. We don't need to craft any ward. Okay. Well, this is helpful. This is good. See, it's good to be overprepared. Right then. We finally have all the blocks that we need. We have all the trims that we need. And we have all the diamonds that we need. It takes up legitimately the whole inventory. It's stupid. Uh, we're never making a duplicate of this specific silence armor trim, though. So we're just going to throw that out of the inventory and let that thing despawn. Uh, but for the rest of this, we need to start crafting, boys. Also, I really should pick up silence. <laughs> Imagine I let it despawn. Okay, that should be five minimum of every single one of the armor trims. That is that is a lot of diamonds that we just spent. So we spent three and some stacks. I think I definitely over overgathered on the diamonds. Just a little bit. Because we spent you know, three stacks and 45-ish of diamonds. Oopsie. Never a bad day when you have a stack and 12 extra diamond blocks to spare. <laughs> okay. So we officially have every single armor trim made, and we still got fat stacks left over. So we're doing good there. Uh, but now we need to do the painful part of actually making 64 pieces of armor. And that's going to give us enough for every single type of armor trim. And we're gonna put those in these boxes. Now, lucky for me, we have all of the pants. Like, we have the pants situation under control. We also have a bunch of other diamond gear that we looted from Bastions. We shouldn't have to craft any diamond armor or buy any. We have nine full sets of diamond gear in here. Most of this is enchanted. Most of it's good. None of it is cursed. And this is all just randomly from collected stuff. This is cursed. I lied. Uh, then we got to get ourselves four pairs of boots, five chest plates, and four helmets. That's all we need to buy from villagers. Give me five chest plates. One. Two, three, you only sell three. What a ripoff. Right, so we have enough armor for nine full sets and then we're missing literally just five pairs of boots, but none of our villagers sell boots. And I'm not about to be reasonable and just craft them myself. We're gonna go raid the end dimension to get them for free. Cause this sounds way more fun. <laughs> that was legitimately so easy to find five pairs of boots in the end. I'm really good at finding things with a 5% chance of generating. Like the 20 ward armor trims, for example. Yeah, so 30 minutes in, running later, we got all the boots we needed for free. We made another 45 diamonds, two more armor trims, and we got another two shulkers of diamond gear. That's what I call strategy right there. Big thinking. Right then, we've figured out what we're gonna do. We have every single armor trim, every single uh, armor type, every single material besides netherite, because that's going on silence. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make at least one of every single type of these. So we're gonna make one of these quartz and sentry, and then the next one's gonna be like wild and iron, and then we'll have uh, coast and diamond, etc. all the way down the line. Problem, we don't actually have a smithing table. <laughs> No, we do! Okay! Problem averted, everybody. We're all good. I was about to say. We go through all of this and we don't even have a smithing table. Right, so here goes nothing then. We toss that in there, we toss uh, the quartz in there, and then we just start trimming away. We spent so much time of my life trying to get this to happen, and it's finally happening, guys. It's finally happening. After all these years, we've finally done it. Every single one of these is fully trimmed out. We got so much drip on the server. And now we just need to actually go put them up somewhere so that other people can admire the the amount of sanity that I've lost to do this project. It's been it's been a grind to do this. And now we just gotta turn them all into netherite. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm never doing that. That's never happening. No, sorry. No, it's not happening. No. It took us 29 shulkers of loot just to get all of the trams and all of the armor made. And then if we want to turn those into netherite, that's going to blossom to like 36 shulkers. All of these are full of something just on our tram template adventure. We need to sell like all of this to make some money. We need we need more money. I'm I'm too poor for the amount of stuff that we've done. So it turns out that we have 19 shulker boxes worth of stock for our shop. That's for the front up here and of course for the black market down below. And that's like not even all of it. I have plans to add even more stuff in here. That's that's a lot of stock. I don't I don't think I have a big enough shop for this as it turns out. <laughs> we nearly had two creeper incidents. Two in like the last minute. This this shop is not safe. And the shop is finally done, but of course there's still creepers everywhere. I've killed so many mobs around here, there's just skulk like growing everywhere, which kind of adds to the appeal actually. So you go down into the shop and you're welcome to buy a whole bunch of different stuff that you can buy. So we're selling all of the gardening hose, all of the gardening pants. We got mob heads at a pretty reasonable price. We definitely need to stock up on more of those guys. We got ourselves the echo shards and a whole bunch of skulk thingies, elytras and the swift sneak books. We're also selling more gardening gear. There's just a lot of gardening gear guys and of course we also got the regular you know standard music discs from our music disc farm and finally the rare music discs which we kind of have a lot of <laughs> is it still rare if you have a whole shulker of them so those are all the non-illegal items and then you see this sneaky little button over here in the corner this will take you down excuse me this will take you down the drop chute where you're then welcomed by the warden guy and now we have all the beautiful stuff down here with the darkness effect you can't even see the warden until you go over here and it's just a great little reveal i honestly really like it so of course you can ring the bell for service and you can also order a warden so people leave their payment in here and they also leave their name on a piece of paper got ourselves an anvil employees only i would highly recommend not going past that point in case you feel like dying the noise machine is a player repellent and a warden attractant so it kind of works great both ways now you might be wondering how these armor stands are just so majestic and glowy like they look amazing just check that out compared to these ones over here these ones are so drab and boring and all it is is you literally just place a torch underneath the armor stand and whoa it's suddenly majestic and a beautiful and just the best thing you've ever seen so you'll notice that there's one set of armor missing in the back there and that is the silence armor trim with the netherite i figured we would do that one on camera since you know we've waited so long to do this it's been like 20 years i swear we need to make one more of those right so that is going to be five we got our diamond armor we got our pieces of netherite in there this is the most expensive set of armor that you can make unless you put netherite on netherite which we will probably do eventually so there it is the absolute majestic set that it is I just love the look of this right here and then the darkness fades away and you got the warden amazing stuff just don't get too close to him <laughs> oh man so we are offering the armor trimming services professional and reliable armor trimming service one diamond each I gotta get some business up in here I gotta compete with everybody uh so yeah I'll be losing diamonds on this but I'll also be gaining customers it's all about getting people in the door and then price gouging them on everything else that's how like everything works now you thought i forgot to put the trim on my armor didn't you we're gonna be doing the wow that is a lot of that's a lot of menu right there <laughs> we are gonna be doing a silence and diamond on our netherite armor and if we decide to put something else on there we can always just spend some more diamonds to have it and of course we gotta have it on the chest plate as well so the set is complete just amazing i love it so much I gotta say, it looks good, but I kind of prefer the look of netherite on diamond. It's just, it's kind of better. And then there was silence. 